Long term and mutually beneficial relationships between neighbor countries are important for their growth and development. However, many neighbor countries hold inimical relations because of the competitive environment around the globe and to become a superpower. India and China are the top rankers in this age. Both the countries are trying to push their economies to their limits to match to that of USA. This economical contest is accompanied by security threats, which leads to arms race. Both India and China are pouring in bulk from their economies to enhance the capabilities of their armed forces. In line with this, today we will compare the new fighter aircrafts which we can witness in coming years in the air forces of both the countries. But before we start, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed this channel till now. Let's start with the Chinese Air Force. The People's Liberation Army Air Force is the Air Force of China and the Chinese government has been spending hugely on the modernization of their Air Force for past three decades. The Chinese Air Force is working on two fifth generation fighters, Chengdu J20 and Fenyang FC-31, which is also known as J-31. J-20 is being developed by the Chengdu Aerospace Corporation, while J-31 is under development by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation. Till date, four prototypes of J-20 and two prototypes of J-31 have been tested. Both the aircrafts will be fifth generation fighters with stealth features. The J-31 is being developed with orientation towards the export to replace the American F-35 from the global defense market. While the J-20 is being inducted in the Chinese Air Force since 2017, J-20 is a mighty aircraft and improvements in the engine technology and weapon systems are still underway. Once fully operational, the aircraft can compete with the US-made F-22 and F-35 and Russian-made Su-57. The Indian government's Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, which is under development by the three government agencies, the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, can be considered as the answer to the Chinese J-20. The AMCA will be a stealth, future-ready, multi-role combat aircraft. This will also feature some indigenously developed sixth-generation capabilities, such as the flyby light technology and 360 degree active electronically scanned air radar. The induction of this indigenous aircraft in Indian Air Force by 2030 is supposed to boost the aircraft manufacturing industry of India beyond leaps and bounds, which could further establish India as a trustworthy supplier of arms and ammunition in the global market. Another optimistic project under development by India is the Autonomous Unmanned Research Aircraft Aura. AURA belongs to the category of Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicles or UCAVs which are commonly called drones. When developed, the AURA's capabilities are expected to be far beyond all the attack drones which are in existence as of now. AURA will be a 5th generation stealth combat drone with super cruise ability at medium altitude. It will be able to operate in both offensive and defensive modes and will be able to strike enemy ground targets in their territory while posing no threats to lives of pilots. Most of the Aura tech is secret and not much information is available in the public domain. The induction of Aura in Indian Air Force could prove a game changer in the Asia and could provide an edge to Indian Air Force over Chinese Air Force. If everything goes as expected, we could witness end of the dominance of the Chinese Air Force in Asia because of the rise of the new dominator, the Indian Air Force. Please like the video if you really liked it and let me know in the comment section what else you want me to compare. If you want to see some other type of content, feel free to suggest. I will try to incorporate whatever will be possible in the coming videos. Subscribe to see more videos from me. Thank you. Jai Hind. Bharat Mata Ki Jai. Vande Matram.